Yo, what is up guys? Streak TV here. Today I'm bringing you guys another video and today we're going to be in the 2K20 demo and yes, this is kind of different cuz I normally don't play 2K, but I'm definitely going to be bringing more 2K20 to the channel. So get ready for it and if you're excited, make sure to drop a like and subscribe and let's get right into it. So today we're going to be creating a Kyrie Irving build and he's probably one of the top point guards in the league right now. And so having him in 2K as your play is going to be unstoppable. So if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like and let's get right into it. So the first thing we're going to want to do is to look at the pie charts. Now, as you can see, there's so many, but I think the best choice for Kyrie Irving would be the play sharp pie chart. This is where there's an even amount of playmaking and sharp shooting, and this will be the best choice for us. Now, the next thing we're going to want to do is to pick the physical pie chart. For us, the first one will be the best choice because it gives us a lot of speed and acceleration which is great for guards especially with the ball handling. So definitely pick the first one. As you, now we move on to the attributes. As you can see I, as you can see, I maxed out my shooting and my playmaking because these are the two most important things you want as a guard. Now for finishing I upgraded my layups and my dunks but don't upgrade your standing dunks because you're not going to really do that as a guard. Now for defense, I didn't upgrade my rebounding, but I upgraded my defense so that I can stand against the other ball handler. This is because I will be running with a center who will get the rebounds for me, so I don't need to worry about that. Feel free to make any changes so that the player is better for you. So now we're going to go to the body shape, and I picked the defined one because it looks the best and it seems great and to match Kyrie Irving. Now for the height. This can be very controversial. But increasing your height is going to bring down some of your attributes like ball handling and your shooting. So I don't think that's the right move. And because Kyrie Irving is 6'3 in real life, I think going with 6'3 is definitely the best choice because we have our shooting and our ball handling. Nothing gets affected and we still have it at a high number. So I'm going to go with 6'3 but if you feel that is short, then I'd say only go up by 1 inch because you don't want to take a big hit to your attributes. Now for the weight. Now most ball handlers have minimal weight and this is the exact same choice for us because you want to have as much acceleration as possible and be as fast as possible since you're the guard. So you're going to want to pick minimum weight. Moving on to the wingspan. We're going to want to pick minimum wingspan so that we can increase our shooting and ball handling attributes. This is so that we can momentum dribble because you need at least an 86 ball control and also we can increase our shooting so we can shoot better. Now, the next choice is a very important one, but this can go either way. It's your takeover. So Kyrie Irving, he's definitely a playmaker, but he's also a shot creator. So I will pick the shot creating takeovers so I can do both. But if you want to be a playmaker and you want to pick the playmaking takeover, definitely go for it. But it's all up to you. I definitely recommend one of these two to match Kyrie Irving. So as you can see here, we've built an offensive threat. And if you look, the second one, it says Kyrie Irving. So this means our player is matching his play style. Now we're moving on to the badges. And this is probably the most important part of your player. So for finishing, I'm going to have Silver, Relentless, and Acrobat on Silver 2. This is so that we can hit those tough layups and also drive in because we all know that Kyrie Irving is one of the best finishers in the league. Now for our shooting badges. As you can see, we have the important ones on Hall of Fame or Gold. But if you feel like you don't need some of them, then you can always adjust to meet your needs. Moving on to the playmaking badges, this is definitely like the most important one. I definitely recommend having Hall of Fame quick first step because it boosts your player. And also you want to have handles for days so that you don't run out of stamina. Then we want to go out to defensive badges. Since we only have one badge upgrade available, I put it on the clamp so that we can play good defense. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to drop a like on the video and also subscribe if you're new so we can reach 600 subscribers. And let me know down below in the comment section what kind of 2K20 videos you would like to see and what kind of players should I recreate for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy and other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.